starting off with atmosphere understood about the composition of atmosphere while we were referring to the formation of the planet earth as a planet therein we understood why earth has a very different type of atmosphere so we already know about the formation of atmosphere so if i look at atmosphere i can study two three things one while i'm studying atmosphere i can understand the a composition of atmosphere what gases form the atmosphere i can also study the processes that formed the atmosphere the processes uh, that formed the atmosphere and third is the layering of atmosphere if you look at atmosphere what is atmosphere atmosphere is a thick blanket that surrounds the earth so a thick blanket that is surrounding the earth is called as atmosphere if you look at the composition of atmosphere we have 78% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen 0.00 or let's say i'll keep 1% uh, 1% uh, of other uh, gases of other uh, gases which is also your co2 you have your helium you have hydrogen you have argon etc okay of all the other uh, gases that is the composition of atmosphere so if this is the earth you have thick blanket of the uh, gases that is surrounding the earth okay this is the thick blanket of the gases what is the composition of the gases the composition of gases is 78% uh, of nitrogen 21% uh, of oxygen and 1% of the other uh, gases the other gases like argon helium water vapor hydrogen etc this is the composition if you look at the uh, processes for the formation the process for the formation of the atmosphere a quick revision of what we have already studied how was atmosphere formed atmosphere was formed when the earth was a hot nebula uh, earth initially was a hot nebula with its pre model atmosphere the pre model atmosphere of hydrogen and helium uh, then there was loss of this pre model atmosphere in the, there were these light gases hydrogen and helium these light glasses were blown off and the earth could not earth's gravity could not capture them there was hot solar winds and therefore these gases were blown off that is there was loss of pre model atmosphere as the earth was cooling as the earth was condensing there were certain gases that were released called as the degassing phase there was release of carbon dioxide hydrogen and ammonia major gases carbon dioxide hydrogen and ammonia then the earth went through series of the earth atmosphere went through series of uh, evaporation cooling condensing evaporation cooling and condensing this cycle led to your co2 plus water getting combined and forming the oceans so co2 plus water getting combined forming the ocean what happens with ammonia ammonia is stuck by struck by uv rays and it splits into nitrogen nitrogen being as a very inert gas builds over the time what happens to hydrogen hydrogen again gets gets a uh, lost in the atmosphere okay so co2 plus water forming the ocean uh, the ocean now there is beginning of life in the ocean there is release of uh, oxygen as the ocean gets completely uh, saturated with uh, oxygen the oxygen forms a part of your atmosphere the oxygen forms a part of atmosphere this is the process for the formation of atmosphere a pre loss of pre model atmosphere degassing series of cooling and condensation forming your uh, oceans then ammonia getting struck by the uv radiations nitrogen and hydrogen again gets lost so we have nitrogen then we have okay in the life the ocean gets saturated by oxygen oxygen then becomes a part of your atmosphere so we have nitrogen we have oxygen and we have 1% of the other gas now moving on a layering of atmosphere okay so we know that what is atmosphere there is earth you have a thick blanket of gases that surrounds the earth now this atmosphere that surrounds the earth can be layered we can form different types of layers there can be three ways in which the atmosphere can be layered so three ways in which the atmosphere can be layered one is on the basis of density the second is on the basis of relative mixing on the basis of relative mixing and the third is on the basis of the temperature 
pattern. First one that is on the basis of density. What is the height of atmosphere? When does your atmosphere gets over and your space begins? Some say as low as 50 kilometer, some say as low as 100 kilometer, that is Karman line, and some say as high as 400 kilometers. So there are debates for it. We don't know what is the exact kilometer where the atmosphere ends and your space begins. So as your atmosphere, as we move higher in the height, as you move higher in the Earth's atmosphere, you will see that the atmosphere here, over the time, atmosphere becomes rarefied. Then they are not as dense. Yaha pe bohat density hai. The atmosphere becomes rarefied and eventually merges into space. Okay, eventually that is getting merges into a space. So what I'm saying is uh, the layering of atmosphere on the basis of density. So first heading, the layering of atmosphere on the basis of density. So you know that atmosphere has weight and is compressible. Atmosphere, that is the gas that surrounds the earth has a weight. And this weight, the gas can be compressed. As it compressed, what will happen? The lower layer will have, will have more density. So atmosphere has weight and it is compressible. And therefore, the lower layers, they have more density. And the upper layers, and the upper layers are uh, rarefied and are thin. The upper layer are rarefied and are thin. So if I look at the atmosphere, if I look at the atmosphere at 5.6 kilometer, at 16 kilometer, and I look at atmosphere as 48 kilometer. Okay, here till 5.6 kilometer, uh, we have 50% uh, of the atmosphere. At 16 kilometer, we have 90% uh, of the atmosphere. And at 48 kilometers, we have 99.99% of the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so at 5.6, we have 50% of the Earth's atmosphere. At 16, you have 90%. And at 48 kilometers, you have 99.99% of the Earth's atmosphere. If the uh, pressure, and this is zero kilometer, this is zero kilometer. If the pressure at the surface, if the pressure at the sea level is a one atmosphere, the pressure at 5.6 kilometer is 0.5 atmosphere. The pressure exerted by the atmosphere at 16 kilometer is 0.1 atmosphere. And the pressure at exercise by the earth's by the air molecule at 50 kilometer is 0 0.01 atmosphere okay so you density layering the the lower layer are more dense the a layer above 50 kilometers there are very less air molecules and therefore they are very less dense Atmosphere has weight, it can be compressed, therefore the lower layers are more dense and this is what is seen. Okay, this is the graph and you can also show a graph like this. So if this is the altitude, if this is one atmospheric pressure here, the pressure decreases as we move higher in the altitude. The pressure is decreasing as you move higher in the altitude. Okay. The atmospheric pressure reduces with the increase in altitude. The relative density of the air molecules in the lower layers and as you move higher in the 
altitude as you move higher in the altitude the air molecules so there is a lot of air molecules here okay in the lower layers this as you move further higher there are less air molecules and as you move further higher there are less air molecules and then for further higher there are very less air molecules so if you look at this uh, this is your pressure in millibars this is the pressure that is going that is reducing the pressure that is reducing as you move higher in the altitude okay other type of layering that was on the basis of layering on the basis of relative mixing on the basis of relative mixing we can classify the earth's atmosphere into two layers this is 80 kilometers one layer that we called as the lower layer you call this as homosphere and the above layer you call this as the heterosphere this homosphere is also known as turbosphere it is also known as turbosphere okay now what is homosphere and what is heterosphere Layering on the basis of relative mixing, uh, we have two layers. One is homosphere, the other is the heterosphere. Homosphere is zero to eighty a kilometer, and this is eighty kilometer and above. Homosphere is also known as a turbosphere. From the zero kilometer to up to eighty kilometer, we have homosphere. What is happening here? There's lot of turbulent mixing. Because of lot of turbulent mixing, that is also called as turbosphere. Turbosphere. It's not turbulent mixing, or I, of the gases here, that the atmosphere, cause of a turbulent mixing, is well mixed. So if you pick up any air packet from homosphere, any air packet, what will you find? You will find seventy eight percent of nitrogen. You will find twenty one percent of oxygen you will find 1% of the other gases so because of relative turbulent mixing the atmosphere is well mixed okay so atmosphere cause of turbulent mixing becomes very well mixed and therefore it is called as homo sphere okay so it is a well homogeneous layer a well mixed layer but as compared to homosphere in heterosphere the atmosphere is not well mixed the atmosphere is not well mixed because the atmosphere is not well mixed kyunki atmosphere itna acche se mix nahi hota this this has a two layers it has a two layers one layer has ions in the form of hydrogen and helium here you have h and h And here you have N two and O. Yes, my bad. Above layer you have hydrogen and helium, and the lower layers you have nitrogen and oxygen. Okay, correct. This is with respect to the degree of mixing. This is with respect to relative mixing. With respect to relative mixing, up to eighty kilometers we have homosphere. Above eighty kilometers we have heterosphere. The heterosphere has layers of gases. In the lower layer you have N two and O two. and in the above layers you have hydrogen and helium this was the second way of the layering of the atmosphere now the third way of layering of the atmosphere is on the basis of temperature pattern when we say on the basis of temperature pattern on the basis of temperature pattern i can classify the earth i can layer the earth into troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and in ke beech mein what do we have Uh, we have lid we have tropopause stratopause mesopause okay in the uh, troposphere yes that exosphere is considered as a part of thermosphere or a separate layer also it can be considered as a separate layer or it can also be considered as a part of thermosphere if you look at troposphere the temperature the temperature reduces as you move with the height okay uh, then you have tropopause Where the temperature is constant with the 
height. Then in the stratosphere, you have the temperature increasing with the increase in the height. Then you have a strato pause where the temperature is constant with the increase in the height. Here, you again, the temperature reduces with the increase in the height. Then you have, and then you have temperature increasing with the increase in height. So what is happening in a troposphere? In a troposphere, in a troposphere, the temperature is reducing with the increase in the height. In stratosphere, the temperature increases with the increase in the height. Whereas here, the temperature further reduces with the increase in the height. Again, the temperature increases with the increase in the height. This is your troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. You can have a look at this picture. Carefully look at this picture. If you look at a troposphere, here the temperature is reducing. Okay, then the temperature keeps on increasing. Then the temperature further reduces and the temperature is increasing. A troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. A picture speaks more than a thousand words. So if you look at troposphere, okay, look at this one, the airplanes. Look at where is the ozone layer. Look at the meteors. In your meteors, you can also look at a special cloud called as the noctilucent uh, clouds. Okay, and then you have your thermosphere. Okay, the coolest layer is the mesosphere. So a brief, a brief characteristics of each of these layers, a uh, third troposphere. The troposphere, they have particular unique characteristic. Mesosphere has particular unique features. Similarly, stratosphere and your thermosphere. So please start writing about. So what are we discussing? We are discussing about the layering on the basis of the temperature pattern, the layering on the basis of temperature pattern. These are the layers, the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. And now we are writing about, we've seen how the temperature reduces, increases, reduces, and further increases.